Okay, so the title's a little misleading. We all know there's no such thing as a perfect bug out vehicle. But, this is what I got. Um, uh, hopefully, it will take me wherever I need to go, whenever I need to go. It's a uh, 2015 um, Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, it's four door, uh, six speed manual transmission. Um, I did get some uh, new wheels on here, um, just so I could increase my ground clearance. The the wheels have given me two and a half inches of increased ground clearance, and. Um, I plan maybe next spring to get a 4 inch lift kit. Uh, I feel like this is a great option for a bug out vehicle for a couple reasons. First of all, 285 horsepower with a four wheel low that has brake lock differentials and huge amounts of flex. So you can go anywhere. This is the by far the best production off the factory floor you know, vehicle when you're talking about off road capability. Yes, you can build something better. But even with all that horsepower, I'm getting 17 and a half miles to the gallon around just to work and back. Um, on the highway, it gets better, better than that. And it's not going to break down on me. I got 4,000 miles on it. So, you know, if crap hits the fan anytime in the next five years, I'm going to have a reliable vehicle that can get me out of Dodge. Now, is it too flashy? I don't know. Maybe. Um, maybe the wheels are, draw a little bit too much attention to it. But realistically, your best bet is to travel at night if you're ever going to bug out anyway. So at that point, nobody's going to see the wheels in the dark. And the whole point of a vehicle like this is so you don't have to stick to roads. You can go off roads, through fields, wherever you want. You can drive into the woods. I've taken this thing up to the sand dunes in Michigan just to practice my off-road abilities. Um, because, you know, it's not all a vehicle. You have to know how to drive your vehicle. I thought I was just going to go up there and because I had this vehicle, I was going to be able to just conquer the thing. No, you have to, you had to have the right gear, the right tire pressure, all that stuff came into play and it was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. There we go, it's the gauge cluster. One thing to know about these 2015 I don't know about the older ones, but if you get the stock radio, it sucks. I mean, for a new vehicle, the base model radio is probably the worst base model radio of any vehicle out there. I'm just thoroughly disappointed with the radio. Now, you can pay a bunch of extra money and you can get, for like 800 bucks, you can get a, a better upgraded stereo. Honestly, stereo is nice, but come on, let's give our priorities straight here. It's got lots of uh, space in the rear. It's easy to get the top off. It's like eight bolts to remove the top. It is a hard top. That's nice and quiet when you're going down the highway and the tops are removable. I don't know if you can see the front. Those T-tops come off really easily. It takes like two, three minutes to get those off. Um, you just throw them in the back. So, what do you think? Did I make a huge mistake? Should have I have gotten some old army vehicle? Like I said, one of my reasons are uh, not going to break down on me. Off-road capable not going to break down on me <laughs> and if crap doesn't hit the fan i mean i needed a vehicle that could carry a family um i have a little kid uh he's a 16 month old and a wife and you know someday we hope to expand our family and the ford ranger was not going to cut it so this is what i'm rolling in now maybe i'll get some uh, performance videos maybe some off-road videos i'm not going to completely saturate the channel with jeep videos just it just kind of goes along with you know what i'm doing in life right now i haven't made any videos in a while because my uh when you have a a toddler life gets crazy busy so 
if anybody's wondering why I haven't made any videos, that's why. Also, I just want to thank everybody for watching the videos, subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, leaving me comments. We finally uh, made it to a million views in the channel. I was going to do a giveaway, but I feel like a giveaway really draws a ton of really insincere subscribers. You know, people that really don't care about the content, they just want to get whatever the giveaway is. But then again, I'm really torn because I really do appreciate you know everybody who has subscribed and I really want to give back to my subscriber base so I'm trying to think of something I did start a my own company called Bex Armory we sell uh, reloading supplies so maybe I'll do a bullet giveaway um, sorry to the people who don't reload um, if you were to win you know you could always sell them um, to a friend that does reload so I'm not sure what the details are but stay tuned uh, for more info on that and once again remember survival is a state of mind.